Hello, my friends. Today we are going to go over what you are going to be practicing Tuesday through Thursday in ELA. So I'm going to go through slides 9, 10, and 11, and um, 12 as well, actually. I'll go through that one also. And the same pattern is going to be followed today as tomorrow and the next day. So we are going to be writing our subtopic paragraphs for the next few days. Last week, you found your three subtopics, you highlighted them, and you said that those were the main ideas that you wanted to con uh, cover in your article. So now we get to go back and look at all of those notes that you took and we get to take those key details, add in extra information about them and create actual paragraphs. So on slide nine, you'll see it says, topic sentence is the first thing we're going to write today. You are going to begin this paragraph with a sentence that reflects the main idea you will be discussing in this paragraph. <sighs> Um, do not bring any of your specific details into this sentence yet because that is what you will do next. After you've written your main idea sentence, you are going to write a sentence that expresses the first detail from your organizer for subtopic number one. After you write the main idea sentence, you are going to add a sentence or two right below it that gives furthermore information and details for your reader to better understand the first um, main idea um, that you chose or the first detail that you chose for the subtopic that we are covering in this paragraph. Moving on to slide 10, you are going to then write a sentence that expresses the second detail from your organizer. And you are going to begin this sentence with a transition word. So you can either say also or in addition. You can use additionally or another example is. Anything like that will help your reader know that they are moving into the next detail from your writing or in your writing. When you write that second detail, you're going to give one or two more sentences that more thoroughly explain a little bit more about that detail. Then you are going to write a sentence that is your third detail from the topic organizer that you worked on last week. And you guessed it on slide 11, you will add another sentence or two after your third detail to more further go in depth and explain why that is significant. Lastly, you are going to write a concluding sentence that sums up the ideas presented in this paragraph. So basically, it's just like having a topic sentence, supportive sentences that pertain to that idea, and then summarizing it like you would in any other form of writing. When you are done with that, just like yesterday where you had the slides that broke your writing apart, and then you had your final drafted paragraph, that is what this is. Here you are going to take all of the sentences in order from slides 9 to 11 and you are going to copy paste them here without the direction. So it just looks like a clean paragraph. You are going to also do this tomorrow and the next day for your subtopics number 2 and 3. On Friday you will be doing your conclusion paragraph. So the format is very similar. You will follow the directions and then you will have a final drafted um, conclusion paragraph slide. Next week is when we get into editing. So I know the directions say it here over and over again, but this is me telling you one more time, do not edit these paragraphs. This is supposed to be choppy. It's getting your ideas out and we will edit and revise through that next week. That is part of the writing process. So it's really hard if you do all of that work now for me to see any growth in your writing. And that's what I need to see to give you an accurate grade for the progress and the effort that I see over a long span of time. So if I don't really get to see that progress, then I cannot give you an accurate grade for it. Um, so just make sure this is your rough draft and you will get credit for all of the hard work that you do as long as we are able to see it. If you have any questions about this, please don't hesitate to reach out. We would be happy to help you. Uh, happy learning.